Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to show you how to live stream a simulation in the 3D world to Visual Components Experience. This is very helpful for automotive, engineering, and construction type use cases, as well as your own. Before you get started, make sure you are using Visual Components Premium because it supports the streaming of the simulation. To get started, click the File tab to go backstage, click Options, and then under General, go down here to a section called Animation Streaming. Here you have to enable the streaming. This does require an application restart. You can also define the port number. By default it's 7000, as well as an update rate. I'll click OK to confirm the change, and I will have to restart 4.2, so I'll do that now. It doesn't take that long, so I will keep this in the video. And once 4.2 opens up, we'll add a demo layout to the 3D world, start running the simulation, and then we'll open Experience. And from Experience, you can define what IP address you want to connect to. So it doesn't have to be the same machine that you're running Visual Components Premium. You can connect to a stream using your mobile device, a tablet, or a different workstation. It just so happens in this case, I'm running Premium and Experience on the same computer, just for the sake of the video. So now let's go to Models by Type. Demo layouts, and let's add maybe the, hmm, let's do the final palletizing and patching layout. So that has conveyors, material flow, and robots. I'll read it in. And it should load up. There we go. So now what do you have to do? Do a dance? No, it's very simple, just press the play button. So now the simulation is running, and it will wait for a connection from Visual Components Experience. I'll run that now. So there's Experience. You can, of course, use VR. For the sake of the video, I'm going to use the 3D viewing mode. If you're using VR, feel free to use HTC Vive or any other type of supported device with Experience. Now, the one thing to mention here is that if you want to connect to a different IP address other than your local host, you have to click Advanced Settings. And here you can see the options for where is the streaming server coming from, what's its IP address, and the port number. So this is where you can find those options. Click 3D. And now Experience will open. Where's my layout? Well, you have to select the stream that you want to show. So in the top left corner here, select Animation. I have the option to select a stream coming from this IP address and port number. It will now build the scene. And there it is. Let's put our experience on the right side and premium on the left. And I'll just get you a better view. So notice that the simulation is now stopped. It's paused. It's waiting for you to resume because it knows a connection has happened. So just press play and the simulation resumes. So let's start up the simulation again. Here come the pallets. Then in experience, you can see, whoa, they fly into view. There they are. And I'm running my simulation just a bit too fast. Yeah, there we go, that's fine. So, I can go to experience, move around, see all the changes happening. And the same is with the 3D world. So while the simulation's running, I can change my view. But notice how the view you have in the 3D world is independent from the view you have in experience. So if you're doing a demo or you're presenting your project or proposal to a potential customer, you can have your own view and they can you know, move around the layout however they want to. If I was to reset the simulation, they're technically still connected. So if I want, I can pick up this conveyor and just go bananas, just start you know, rampaging it through the warehouse. <laughs> you can see everything is updating in real time. Uh -huh. And let's connect it there. <laughs> and if I resume running the simulation, you know, everything should still work fine. Here come the boxes. Zoom in on them. <laughs> yeah, it still works. Same goes for robots, so I can select the robot here. And if we go to the program tab, I believe you need to use the special components we have in our eCatalog library for interaction like jogging. But we do have API that allows you to make your own components interactive for robot teaching. So it's this robot here, but notice when I jog it in the 3D world, it is updating in Visual Components Experience. So when you're using the 3D view mode, it's pretty much what you see is what you get in the 3D world. 
in both premium and experience. If you're using the virtual reality viewing mode, you'll have to use the uh, either the HTC Vive or any other devices um, peripherals, the joysticks, to interact with the component in experience. So here I can't really interact with it. I would need the VR mode and the joysticks. But this works fine as well. You can see. Okay, this completes the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to visit our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com. And as always, have a wonderful day.